Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So hopefully you guys have been busy um, feeding the adorable Chansey with lots of food items. As you can tell on my screen, we are only five days away from you know Chansey disappearing from the cafe. But before we move on with the regular stages, let's talk about well the news here that just appeared. Uh, technically yesterday, <laughs> today that I'm recording, it's uh, the 21st of January, so yeah, one day behind this news launch. So it is pretty important to know about this because, well, they're talking about the updates that's going to happen um, in the future of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So thank you for playing Pokemon Cafe Mix. As mentioned in the New Year's greeting, a major update is coming to the game. This update will make it even more fun to recruit and train staff Pokemon and will add new elements to make the puzzles fresh and exciting. We hope that even more players will enjoy our game full of cute Pokemon. To focus on the major update, some aspects of the game will be temporarily modified as outlined below. We appreciate your understanding. So here are the important things that they're going to change, which um, one of them I'm pretty happy about because well, let's talk about the number one thing, which is the one that I'm happy about. <laughs> New orders stages. Uh, we have been adding 50 orders at a time every two weeks, but starting on the 24th of February 2021, we will change this to 30 orders at a time. So yes, they are reducing the amount of orders or stages basically that we release every time, which is great because Looking at how often I release videos of Pokemon Cafe Mix, we can barely keep up with how many stages they've been releasing. And I can never, you know, reach that max amount of stages available you know, for my YouTube channel because, you know, every time we do an episode, I like to keep things short and simple, half an hour an episode, because in the past when I released an hour long video, uh, most of you guys don't watch through the entire thing. So yeah, half an hour seems feasible. For most of you guys, because you don't want to spend too much time on one thing, uh, you would rather have more time to spend on other things that are a bit more important as well. So yes, this is great news technically for me. <laughs> but I mean, for, for hardcore players, it might be a sad situation because, well, there's lesser stages to play. Um, but, you know, there's always the the the, fine, the last few stages after you complete the entire amount of orders that's currently available you you'll have you know a whole bunch of reoccurring stages that are, are pretty tough and challenging well mostly uh, based on luck and uh, of the rng because well the stages that appear during that later part once you've completed all the available stages is really all randomized so yeah upcoming schedule as you can tell here um, they'll be adding up to 930 on the 24th of February 2021. Then Imoga will be visiting the cafe at order 876. So, okay. So that's coming pretty soon. After it stops by, there will be no further new Pokemon for the time being. So that's, that's one of the things that I'm pretty sad about. So um, they won't be adding any brand new Pokemon um, after Imoga's um, appearance. So we're going into the game's situation or rather lifespan where basically we are going to run through reoccurring event Pokemons. Um, it's not the first time that Pokemon Cafe Mix has, you know, um, reissued uh, old event Pokemon. We've seen it with the, the Gala Region starters and of course we've seen it with um, a few other event Pokemon as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's great for those who are brand new to the game. I think it's a chance to uh, obtain a Pokemon that they couldn't get before, or maybe for us, or some of you guys who have not been, you know, um, playing wholeheartedly, you know, for all the events, and you might miss out a few of the event Pokemons from, you know, joining your cafe. You know, this will be a chance to actually get some of them. Um, they are reappearing, so we have no idea who is reappearing, but still looking forward to the lineup. Um, of course, I'm also looking forward to a brand new Pokemon that we added to the game once they've decided, you know, how to move forward with the game's development. All right, so upcoming events after Chansey's Happiness, which is the team event that's currently we're going through. Uh, we will repeat some past events. 
Alright, an event schedule for next month, special customer to Oh, okay, so Torterra and Snorlax are returning as event Pokemon, so so at least we get a heads up on who is returning, uh, although it's just two of them. We apologize for any inconvenience these changes may cause. For the m further information on the major update will be shared in March. So um, we will get a full update on really what they're trying to improve with Pokemon Cafe next to maybe entice more people to join the game or to retain old players like you and myself. And of course, you know, to attract you know, a different kind of crowd once the game gets better, who knows? So I'm looking forward to the changes and of course, as usual, let me know your, your thoughts on this um, developer notes, you know, are you happy with the changes or are you happy with the, the turn the game developers are taking, you know, to try and improve the game? So let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so with that all said and done, let's tap out our um, um, Chansey event hat here first. So let's claim all the rewards that I've currently gotten on hand so that we can actually gauge ourselves how much of an effort do we need to put in next. So it seems like the team members are doing decently, uh, unlike my <laughs> Nintendo Switch account, where it's just basically me and another person that's playing this event. Um, but wow, apparently on my Nintendo Switch account, just the two of us, we have managed to grind up to level 8, <laughs> which is pretty hardcore. <laughs> Alright, so okay, we reached level 7. Um, so we're just two levels away from attaining Chansey, that's pretty nice. And okay, you can tell that I'm, I'm not contributing enough, but I have been contributing fairly decently with all the party invites every day because I can't touch the regular stages due to, you know, having to create content for the YouTube channel. So, alright, let's start off as usual with the party invites. I'm going to do the refresh to see what kind of uh, invite... Oh, we should have stuck with the first page. Oh, well. Oh, well. As the main important point here is the stars that we gain to the party invite that's going to help us to, you know, get us to the next level of Chansey's event. Line up. So, oh no, at this stage. So this is one of those stages that I really, really do not like because it really does require some precise um, clearing of the level. So yeah. Okay, so the main thing here is to defrost all the um, marshmallows from the encasements. But the problem here is... Yes, the marshmallows are going to be littered up, you know, here and there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use Southland's skill. Oh, okay. Alright, so, yeah, this is one of those stages, like I said, I do not enjoy. It's really one of those stages that annoys me because it really does need some precision in terms of clearing the level. Alright, so let's clear all the marshmallows that are littered up. So as long as they're littered up and you have the chance to clear them, you might as well do so. So we've we've cleared all the marshmallows that are on the outer side, so that's important to take note of. And of course we have some issues with the stuff being coated with olive oils as well. So that's pretty annoying. Okay, can we clear all the olives? Apparently not. Alright, so as you can tell, this is definitely one of the levels that I really do not like and you can see why. Okay, so yeah, definitely we're gonna have to either pay the 900 acorns or retry the level till we manage to do it, but you know, just for the sake of progressions, I'm going to spend the acorns. Okay. I'm going to clear this. So once we've uncoated that last marshmallow, it's going to light up because it's currently dimmed out. There we go. So definitely luck is on our side. <laughs> so all we had to do was pay 900 acorns to continue the level and clear it once and for all. So this is one of those levels, like I said, it's, it's just annoying um, to, to clear because it requires an exact 
precision of skills and of course well technically Stoutland isn't exactly the best Pokemon to handle this stage because his skill doesn't reach all the way to the bottom of the middle lane of items so yeah so the Pokemon that's recommended for this stage isn't exactly best fitted for this level so you can always go ahead and choose your own personalized um, preference of Pokemon skills just to clear that level um, even I mean if you failed the level once already you can always back out and change the Pokemon to the one that's best suited for it don't really have to go with the recommended list right here so yeah that's that's one way you can play Pokemon Cafe Mix all right so let's see what the stage brings okay so we do have piping bags and uh, another bundle of marshmallow mayhem all right so let's go in and clear as many as we can now let's gather as many icons and clear the marshmallows on this side so okay once the marshmallows are done technically we are good to go okay the whipped creams are going to be a problem so let's just get them all out as fast as we can okay maybe let's push this one down so we can destroy them together and of course clearing out the popcorns as well so don't forget that you know the, the whipped creams can be destroyed manually especially if they are tiny so let's just do that let's clear the tiny ones all right so now we just have to push this popcorn down and clear all the destructibles and the next thing we have left to do is just basically get a score and we are good so not exactly a very difficult level just got to be systematic and prioritize what needs to be done as usual and that takes the cake for the party well i don't see cake on the table but you you, you guys know what i mean <laughs> Okay, moving along with the 10 levels, here we go, and we have a brand new order, so we're going to go through our tutorial stage. I see baskets to clear basils, drop them into a basket, um, skills and megaphones can't clear them. Okay, so they're pretty much the same as tomatoes. Alright, so mechanisms are basically the same, just... You know different look okay so the, the i think the technique here is basically just to destroy this cheese at the bottom here and then just push the basils in after that so i mean basically you could swirl the basils around you know to push them into the baskets above but that would be so troublesome There we go, so push this in, destroy the icons so that the basil can just drop in. Oh! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh well, that didn't work <laughs> out as planned. Apparently Squirtle was too excited to fill up the gaps there. <laughs> okay, moving along. Alright. 502 so i wonder how many episodes more do i have to make before i cover the entire amount of max orders that the game will be having you know okay so for this particular level um i think it's best to just keep rotating around you know so that the basils will just fall into place into the baskets there we go, let's just keep swirling them in. And once we have enough of the, the skill icons, we're just gonna go destroy the pumpkins. It's best to not have the pumpkins move at all. Oh, oh that was nice. <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh, it's best not to have the pumpkins move at all. Okay, technically we can destroy the pumpkins now. Okay, so let's just handle the basils. One, two. 
a few more left. There we go. One more, one more to go, and it's in. Simple as that. So not so problematic. So as long as you do the circular rotations, you can be clockwise, anti-clockwise. As long as you don't move the pumpkin out of its placing, you should be good. We did get a bit lucky with the sudden surprise destruction of the pumpkins, though. So I guess the Pikachu skill ended up helping us a bit. <laughs> Okay, ooh, that's one tiny basket on the right. So technically, we could, you know, get Snubble skill out, and basically, well, technically we do need Snubble skill to destroy the whole bunch of sugar here. So let's do this. Okay, we do need to power up. Snubble skill um, to get rid of the, the sugar cubes on the left hand side of the screen. Alright, so sugar cubes are done. I mean, the basil leaves are done. So we're not gonna use the skill just yet. We do need to destroy the bundle of um, sugar cubes here. So let's power up this and destroy all of them together. Okay, and Yep, apparently we have a canister that we need mixing, so let's just push it there and destroy the sugar cubes here. Can we push you down? Oh, come on. Get mixed. Get mixed, you. Oh, okay, there we go. So we just need score. Oh, that wasn't enough? Oh, come on, it was... it was... So nicely done! Oh goodness gracious me, okay. Okay, for the sake of it, we're spending a 900 acorns again. Ah, the future episodes of Pokemon Cafe Mix are starting to get very expensive with all the 900 acorn expending, uh, expenditures. Uh, of course, there was that one episode where um, <laughs> I spent more than 900 and, well, you know, we had to retry twice. I hope you guys watched that. <laughs> Horrible episode. If you guys didn't, you should go back and watch all the episodes that you missed out. It will help me. Uh, it would see. I'm. I'm not even talking properly now. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> uh, it would definitely help the channel greatly if you guys watch through all the episodes, especially those that you missed out. Yeah, it will help. You know the future of this channel growing, and of course. It will make me happy because at least there's people watching my content. So yeah, alright, let's go! Next stage, uh, Munchalax. Ooh, there's strawberry baskets. So, okay, so the strawberry baskets can get a bit tricky if there's not enough Pokemon icons around. Alright, so Snubble, there's a lot of Snubble, so let's just make use of Snubble. There we go. Pikachu. Oh, we missed out one basket. That's such a bummer. Okay, Munchlax. So much Munchlax right now. Don't forget the fruit baskets as well. I mean the veggie veggie baskets. You see, this is what happens when you're recording a video that's already close to 1am in the morning. You can't think straight. And what's worse, it's a puzzle game! <laughs> it needs brain power. Okay, so we do need, you know, to call out megaphones with Munchalexa's skill. So let's just do that. Alright, simple as that. No need to see the Munchlex animation because we're trying to conserve timing here. Because who wants to see a whole bunch of animations that we've seen so many times before? Alright! Not too bad of a level. We need Charmander for Executor. Uh oh. This looks a bit tricky, so let's get all the Charmander icons. Make sure we slide up so we cover the entire bunch of... Um, Honey, can Charmander skill reach the entire thing? Oh, we can. Can we get the baskets as well? 
So if we can hit all three things, that would be fantastic. There we go. Alright, so let's use Skoto's skill icons to clear out the marshmallows. Of course, let's get Pikachu's going. Alright. And of course now we get Charmander, so we can clear out the honey. More Charmanders. There we go. So that's all the honey. Now the only issue here is the strawberry baskets. Uh-oh. So we don't want to power up the, the skill for Charmander because technically it's not so ideal. So let's go ahead and gather as many icons as we can. So yeah, this is definitely one of those tricky stages where it needs precise movements as well. So be careful on this one. Um, if you can destroy the marshmallows, um, make sure you do so as quickly as possible before they discolor themselves, you know, so they, they prevent themselves from being destroyed. That's very important to clearing that level. Okay, so Jigglypuff is up next. Ooh. Okay, there seems to be an opening to the car the caramel zone on the bottom left. So let's just dive in and destroy a whole bunch of them. Oh, we need... Okay, so we need to destroy the cheese because there is a challenge for 30 links at one go. So that is a problem. So apparently all these levels are starting to be a bit more problematic. Okay. So let's try and destroy as many of the destructibles as possible. Alright, so let's gather the squirtles. Destroy the caramel. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, can we destroy the bottles here? And of course, changing the icons to Jigglypuffs. So let's go for it. I don't know if there's enough Jigglypuffs here. Okay, we do have 30 already. Oh! Done! Wow! <laughs> that ended a lot quicker than expected. So not such a problematic level as long as you don't you know, end up messing things up for yourself. So we didn't have to destroy most of the cheese. Well, basically we only destroyed two sections of the cheese, blocked areas and we are good. Oh no, what is this now? Okay, so there are eight baskets being coated with the bubble gum, but the main problem is the basil leaves are coated. So, and we do need and we do need um, eggs. So that's there's that problem as well. So making sure that we always cover the egg baskets. Yep. Okay, so now that we have the skill powered up, let's make sure we have enough icons to change into megaphones. Alright, things are looking decent. Okay, maybe let's just destroy. Alright, so we just need to get the basil leaf down. There we go. Okay, we've got all the eggs required. Now the only problem is the megaphone counts. There we go. So we just need one more of our fat skill. And we should be good. 
don't have to power it up, it does produce more than enough megaphones by itself. The only reason why you power up Wabafet's skill is because, well, if it's powered up, Wabafet's skill does change the surrounding icons to the, the most common or rather the most amount of icons that's currently available on the, the stage itself. So yeah, if you need to clear challenges like, you know, Link 30 and that kind of stuff, yes, powering up Wabafet's skill is technically the most useful way to clear it, but that's not necessary when I mean, it's just for the megaphones. Alright, okay, so we are close to ending this episode. Oh, Beware is getting more stars, so that's nice. Sadly to say he doesn't have the friendship bonus. That would have been better. Okay, this is looking a bit troublesome. Um, considering that Lucario's skill is a cross style plat uh, design, Okay, let's dig our way in, bit by bit. Alright, Pikachu looks like that's the most icons available. We do need to remember to um, get the whipped creams out from the piping bags. There we go. Okay, let's destroy the chocolates first. So we can start touching the... Strawberry baskets. There we go. Okay. Not forgetting the whipped creams as well. They can be a bit problematic. Alright. Things are looking pretty good. Okay. Let's clear off that single basket. And now for the remaining tree. Oh gosh. Why did I have to power it up? I wanted to shift one of the skills up so that it touches the, the, the strawberry baskets at the same time. And of course it would destroy the other skill that was close enough to destroy the baskets as well. So I'll get a double combo of destruction. Oh well. So now the only problem here is that, you see, I don't have a megaphone that's pointing upwards. If not, I would have cleared this level in one go. Ah, oh, this is such a hassle. And here we are again, we're going to have to spend 900 acorns to redo this. So yes, sadly to say, luck is not on our side this time around, so we have no choice but to do this. Alright. Alright, so it's not exactly a very difficult level, does does need um, retrying if we do mess up a bit. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty fun level. It's not that challenging. Okay, moving along. Executo. Oh, Snubble is going to get maxed out. So yes, the max level for our Pokemon Colony is still level 3. 80,000 score. Okay, so the main problem here is definitely getting all the stuff um, unbubbled. Hmm. We do have the problem of an olive as well. So that's going to be an issue. Alright, so let's get all the executor and Yep. Okay. Alright, now that we have this, let's go ahead and destroy the popcorns and the bottle of ketchup first. Alright, then followed by... I hope... Yeah, we should push all the olives away so that we can get them cleared without coating most of the important things. Oh, come on! Ketchup bottle, why did you have to jump? Why did you have to jump? Oh no, this is this is a problem. Okay, so not too bad of a problem. Luckily, we have a megaphone that's pointing in the right direction. And now we just need to clear this. Don't move. Alright, okay. We got a bit lucky right there. <laughs> Whew. 
if not, we'll end up retrying the stage or paying another hefty 900 acorns. I do not want to do that again. There we go. Next stop, Snubble. Fantastic. Oh! On the last level as well? Togepi? Friendship bonus, yes! We're gonna get so many stars now. Alright, let's open up the gift first. Alright, and there we go. So if we clear this stage without making a fumble, we're gonna get 6 stars for Togepi and Chansey. Okay. Uh oh. So yeah, Bubble Saw skill does de destroy things in the X form. So let's just clear out. Okay. Yep, this is probably the best way. We should have destroyed the ice cubes in the bottom so that we could have used Bubble Saw skill to its best optimal destruction power. So let's just do that first. So we can do this here. Yeah, there you can see. Yes, it's always best to destroy the ice cubes there. So we ended up wasting one move. Okay, let's get the tomatoes and the basils into the basket if we can. One more tomato. Oh, did I miss out on one brown box? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, it looks like we're gonna have to pay. Oh no! Why did I have to mess this up? Oh god. Note to myself. Do not record Pokemon Cafe Mix at 12 midnight to 1am in the morning. Not a good idea, especially after a full day's work. <laughs> oh, my poor Acorn wallet. Oh god. Okay, so do we have 40 of Nutinos? Can we? Yeah, there we go. We do have more than enough. Okay. Get in there. Thank goodness. It's over. It's over! <laughs> I can finally go to bed. Alright, guys. So yes, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this sleepy, drowsy, uh fumbling video <laughs> and a very expensive acorn episode as well this is the second time that we really had to spend so many acorns just to clear through the levels anyway guys what do you guys think of the update news so far by the development team uh, as usual let me know your thoughts on the decision down below in the comments and of course if you enjoyed the nonsense that i did throughout this episode leave a like on this video and if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more videos just like this. So apparently, apparently when I did a thank you um, message on my YouTube Facebook page, um, you know, of course, for all the appreciation towards you guys watching all the content and helping my channel grow a bit better as compared to 2020, um, I noticed that almost 70% of you guys are not subscribed who are watching my content. So, yes guys, please, please do my do yourself a favor and do a big one for me by hitting the subscribe button. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're watching my content, why are you guys not subscribed? It doesn't make sense. Anyway guys, until then, I'm gonna lie down and rest right now. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!